What's up, guys? Welcome to this world update. Please subscribe to the channel for more coverage on all the sports, especially the 2013 Brazil Confederations Cup. I will be having more videos on that as the tournament goes on. Um, so I'm going to be reviewing Italy versus Spain, the under-21 European Championship final. Hopefully you'll stick around for the video. I can't show you any highlights due to copyright, so if you guys would please go, you know, check them out on wafa.com or uh, go go find them on a the sports website and not leave anything negative. That would be great because um, I do get a lot of negative comments, but I'm just warning you guys now. If you don't want to see the review, I have no problem with that. Just exit the video if you can. So let's get right into this review. Spain is just too good. Um, right now, they just produce a lot of talent, young young talent that is going to be great for the senior squad one day. And uh, this was a rematch from last year, obviously. The Euro 2012 in the summer. Senior Italy versus senior Spain. Spain dominated 4-0. Uh, just nothing really going on for Italy last year. And this final wasn't as bad, but it, uh, Spain did dominate again, winning by a final of 4-2. So I'm going to get right into it. Uh, Tiago Al Alcantara was just uh, they were, he was just the man of the match hat trick, and uh, you know his first goal six minutes in, um, Morata crosses the ball in and he's right there to put on the header an easy header uh, no one was guarding uh, the net Barty was on the wrong side and uh, the Italian defenders just left them wide open Tiago puts in the first goal and it looked like Spain was off to the off to the races and they were going to dominate. However, only a few minutes later, I think 10th minute, Chiro Immobile receives a beautiful ball over the top, one touch, uh, a beautiful goal over David De Gea, a nice little, you know, flick over him, and it was tied 1-1. It looked like Italy was going to be able to keep up with Spain and uh, try to, you know, put more pressure, try to build up some play. It lasted until the 30th minute, it was still 1-1, but... Then Thiago strikes again. He receives a ball over the top. The Italian defender misses it with his head. And Thiago gets it. He's all alone. A defender behind him, but there was no chance. Powerful shot to Bardi. Uh, and Bardi, you know, he got most of the save, but just too much power on the ball, and it trickled in. So 2-1 Spain. And then only a few minutes later, another a penalty scored by Thiago. Now, this penalty, honestly, it shouldn't have been a penalty. It could have been because at the end... Uh, Donati got a little touch uh, on the Spain attacker, but he got all ball at first, and it really should not have been a penalty. It's questionable, but I don't. I really don't think it should have been. Not not being biased or anything, it should have been just a play on and a continue. However, the penalty was awarded. The the referee was right there, but what can you do? That's how football is. So uh, Thiago steps up, gets his hat trick, 38th minute, and Spain's in cruise control, three to one. That's how the half finished. Uh, and then coming out in the second half, Italy continued to struggle with build-up play. Their midfield just couldn't keep the ball enough. Uh, you know, little short passes. There was no passes involving any, you know, any really influence that they were going to, you know, be able to put in two goals to tie it. Uh, there was one chance before the half ended, I believe. It was Florenzi. Beautiful flick on uh, over the defender. But straight to De Gea. De Gea plays for Manchester United. Quality goalkeeper. Quality young keeper. So, attempts on target. Three only for Italy. Nine for Spain. So, that really tells you everything. Um, a lot of yellow cards also given out in this in this final. But, uh, there was another goal by uh, Isco. 68th minute. A penalty by, I believe it was uh, Regini, if I'm not mistaken. That was a horrible, a horrible penalty. He, he was just very clumsy. That was definitely a penalty. Isco steps up, scores. It's 4-1. Uh, later on in the game, it was the 80th minute. Fabio Borini of Liverpool. He scores for Italy. That was actually a very nice goal. Another assist from Lorenzo Insigne. I feel bad because he was, you know, the best Italian player throughout the whole tournament. Um, and he really wanted to win. He's a great young talent for Napoli. Hopefully he stays there. Um, but he was just great the whole tournament. It's a heartbreaker for him. He was crying after the, after the, the final... Uh, time, you know, whistle was blown, so, uh, Insigne was definitely heartbroken, but Spain goes on to win 4-2, uh, from that second goal was for Barini, as I said, but 4-2 was the final, and Spain, like I said before, is just too good, uh, too much of a high pace for Italy, they had better passing, better build-up play, their long balls were working for them, so, Italy, uh, Spain pretty much, you know, dominated this game, it was not, not, not trouble for them, the last few minutes, Italy was trying to push, but it was too late, then, after that, a Fabio Borini goal. So, 
Spain wins 4-2, they're under-21 champions for the second time in a row, fourth overall. Only Italy has more, I believe, with five. So, Spain, they continue to dominate. Will they win the Confederations Cup? We'll see. Uh, Thiago, again, is definitely, definitely the man of the match, and uh, he deserved that. Uh, Morata won the golden boot, I, th I believe. He had uh, four goals throughout the tournament. So, congratulations to him for that. And uh, we'll see where Thiago goes now, because there's a lot of... Uh, Speculation that he may go to Manchester United and join De Gea, or he might go to Bayern. There's also rumors of that. So we'll see where that goes. Please subscribe, guys. Please leave your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching this video, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll be having a review on Brazil, uh, Brazil, Mexico, and Japan, Italy. So thanks for watching. Peace.